that the universal is self-organized, so that so that it, it sort of organized itself to have all those constants with that value. So there is a universe. What do we see? Like, thing. what do us non-scientists see that is like self-organizing? Is it like when uh, people wait in line at Disneyland? Yeah, you have all sorts of examples like flows of traffic, all sorts of things that in which in which what you get you get a group of people or a group of things interacting, and they sort of begin to interact together and, and organize themselves in, into something which has its own rules. Mm -hmm. So, so you don't impose, you don't set the rules from outside and say you're going to do this or that. The system itself develops its own rules. That's funny. That's like John and K plus eight is a TV show. They've got they've got eight children under the age yeah. of. Five. Yeah. It sounds like a nightmare. Right. But the parents say the kids seem to just sort of know what they're playing, yeah. and they don't t talk about it. They just all engage in this yeah. activity yeah. without speaking, and they're right. all playing the same game, right. and they're not even. They have no language. Yeah, that's uh, yeah. Is that, that a self-organizing that system. Yes, a great example of self-organization. It happens all over. You know, like economic systems, ecologies, all sorts of things. Oh God, yeah. economic systems. Yeah. Yeah. These sort of self-organized to. Kill us all, yeah, well, that's, <laughs> that's the thing. They got so complex that maybe they're too complex.